Hi everyone and a very Merry Christmas to you. Hope your Christmas Day is going well. It's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. Um, we've got another area of heavy rain here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, just coming on to the southern coast of England uh, this evening. It's slow moving and uh, the red colours in there showing us that uh, there are going to be some heavy bursts as well. And that falling onto already sodden ground is perhaps going to be leading to more flooding on roads and could lead to rising river levels. So if you're in areas affected by flooding already, do stay tuned to the Environment Agency warnings because this area is going to be very slowly moving its way eastwards during the course of this evening. Now we've got another storm system to come through on Friday after another quiet day tomorrow. Uh, by Friday this area of low pressure centred across northern Scotland. See the very strong winds. These gusting up to 80 miles an hour on western coast, perhaps 60 miles an hour inland. Again strong enough to cause some minor damage and uh, some pretty heavy bursts of rain as well passing their way eastwards. Although we're hopeful that the heaviest of the rain is further north where uh, at the moment uh, we don't have the uh, amount of water deficit that we have further south and so flooding is less likely. However even in the south there'll be some heavy bursts so add on any amount of rain and it could increase the problems across southern and southeast England. But uh, what I want to concentrate on just quickly uh, this Christmas evening is uh, looking at the falling temperatures that seems to be being picked up by the models now as we head into the new year. This is the 850 temperatures from the ECMWF and you see that general trend here as we head into the 4th of January time where uh, we see temperatures generally falling off. And if you compare that to the GFS Ensemble, look, here we go, a general fall off in temperatures, this taking us up to the 10th of January. With the... Uh, the uh, NAO were tending to, to try and get down into negative territory, but then it bounces back uh, into positive territory. Look, so hinting that these westerlies do want to stay in the Atlantic. Although on the Arctic Oscillation here, uh, we can clearly see, look here, it dipping into negative territory after the new year. And that's the weakening of the westerlies around the Arctic and the allowance of colder air to be able to drain further south. Now I think the CFS probably picks up quite well on this today. Yeah, here we are with the cooler temperatures look just into the beginning part of the month. We then see a pickup uh, around about the 11th, 10th, but then this is the cold period that I'm interested in, in here. And again, in here too. So this period from about the 15th onwards through to around about the 1st of February, perhaps with one or two hiccups along the way. Remember I was telling you that we, it, I thought the cold weather would come in somewhere between the 10th and the 15th. Well, here it is as shown on the uh, CFS and that it would last for a couple of weeks at least. And again, here it is on the CFS. So these indications continue to build about those temperature fall offs. And with uh, a warming stratosphere, um, changing conditions now uh, in the hemisphere or at least during next week in the hemisphere I think it'll take probably a, a couple of three weeks for that to get into the system proper which takes us into that middle part of January hence the reason for this uh, cooler weather looking as if it's on its way so just want to bring you up to date let you know where we are today uh, whatever you're doing have a great Christmas evening and thanks again for watching weatherweb.net don't forget to tell all your friends and family about us you're probably watching this on a tablet or an iPhone in some places while you've got Christmas parties going on so if you are do show your friends and family and tell them they can watch weatherweb.net too but for now thanks for watching um, oh just quickly as well I'll keep you up to date via Twitter about the storm that's coming through on Friday and you can follow us on Twitter at weatherschool and at WX Web. Okay, thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.